do subscribe to ekeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos so students in the last lecture we have also did a numerical which is based on mentor factor and previously to that we have also did a derivation which was based on the relation between degree of dissociation and the mentor factor so now we are going to solve that numerical itself right now so friends as on your screen there is a question which is based on how to calculate the degree of dissociation so let us see what is the question and extract the question as well as the given requirement so 90.5 g of monofluoroacetic acid is dissolved in 500 g of water the depression in freezing point observed is 1 degree celsius calculate the mentor factor and degree of dissociation along with that we have also a value of kf for water that is cryoscopic constant for water is 1.86 kelvin kg per mole so let us extract the given data the given data is a nineteen point five gram of fluoro acetic acid that is it means it is the solute which is being dissolved in the water so therefore the amount of solute or the weight of the solute is we usually denote it by wb which is nineteen point five gram for a better convenience we will convert it to kilogram And now it is dissolved in 500 gram of water. 500 gram of water means it is being the solvent. Again, for better convenience, we'll convert it into kg. And the next, the depression freezing point was 1.0. Degree Celsius. The depression freezing point in the sense delta T F. But this is a difference, so it is not needed that we should convert this value into Kelvin. Ultimately, we'll get an answer which is present in Kelvin. So therefore, the given degree Celsius can be directly written as one Kelvin. And the other data that is KF cryoscopic constant value it is given as 1.86 Kelvin kg per mole. But in this case the molar mass of the solute is not given. But we can calculate the molar mass of solvent. How? Let us see. The molar mass of solute, that is, I would write it as Mb for monofluoroacetic acid. And let us see how can we calculate the molar mass of monofluoroacetic acid. So first of all, as we can see, first we can see the carbon, which is present one time when we move in this way. So I could write. One into carbon plus I can see two times hydrogen plus I can see one times fluorine and again one time carbon plus two times oxygen and one times hydrogen. The molar mass of carbon is 12. So, and we have to calculate the molar mass of the whole uh, solute. So, we have to add all of those. The molar mass of hydrogen is 1. The molar mass of fluorine is 19. Again, for carbon, it will be 12. 
and for oxygen it is 16. And again for hydrogen it is 1. So if we calculate this whole thing, we will get a value of 78 gram per mole. This is mb. But for better convenience again we will convert into kg. 78 into 10 raised to minus 3 kg per mole. Mold. So these are the given data present in the question and we have estimated them. But now we will determine the given requirement, the asked requirement. So the asked requirement is we have to calculate the Van't Hoff factor. So the Van't Hoff factor has a formula. In this case, every data that is given, we could calculate the molar mass or we could calculate the molarity or molality of the substance because the solute is present in gram and rather than that, we have the solvent which is present in kg. So ultimately, we could decide that we have to calculate the molality of the solution. So according to Van Hoff factor, Van't Hoff factor is directly proportional to the concentration, means in this case is directly proportional to the molality. But Van't Hoff factor is equals to molality of observed value divided by the molality of theoretical value. So this is the Van't Hoff factor that we have to calculate. So we could write it as where M stands for molality. So this is the first thing that we have to calculate. So cause as we calculate the Van't Hoff factor, then only we could find out that what is a degree of dissociation. Even we know the formula of that. But first of all, let us find what is the Van't Hoff factor. And according to that, what would be the molality of the observed and what would be the molality of the theoretical value. So let us find out the theoretical value first. Now we have to find molality for the theoretical value. So how can we calculate? We know molality is nothing but number of moles of solute dissolved in the weight of solvent in kg. But this MB can be written as fine. So let us calculate or substitute the values here and we would determine that what is the molarity based on the theoretical value. So WB has a value of 19.5 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by the value of MB that we have calculated recently for monofluoroacetic acid was 78 into 10 raised to minus 3 and that of the weight of the solvent that is for pure water was 500 into 10 raised to minus 3. So by this thing we could cancel out these two things and we could calculate it as 100. so so friends now we can calculate this equation as and we have got a value of 0 0.5 but we have calculated the theoretical value of the molality. So molality has a unit of moles per kg. So this is the theoretical value that we have calculated.
so now we have to calculate the observed molarity so for calculating the observed molarity we have a formula and since we know that it is a numerical based on uh, depression freezing point so therefore we have delta df the observed value is equals to kf into molarity of the observed value so in this case the delta tf which is being observed has a value of 1 kelvin that we already know and we have extracted from the uh, given question so we could write it as 1 kelvin into the value of kf given to us was 1.86 and we now can calculate the observed molality which is 0.537 again since it is a molality so moles per kg will be the unit of the value so these are the two values of the molality that we have got so by based on this we could determine that what is the van't hoff factor so the van't hoff factor again i could explain you that the van't hoff factor has a formula of uh, i is equals to molality of the observed value divided by the molality of the theoretical value so since both the values we have determined we could substitute here and we'll get an answer as So the value of i that is length of factor has been determined as 1.074 in this case the van't hoff factor is more than one so now by based on this we could calculate the degree of dissociation also and also we know that the degree of dissociation has a formula of Since we know degree of dissociation is equals to I minus 1 divided by n bar minus 1. Sorry. Sorry. So since we know that degree of dissociation that is alpha is equals to i minus 1 divided by n bar minus 1. So we have to know that we got to know what is i but the thing is we don't know what is n bar. So how can we calculate the n bar? It's very much simple. Let us see how can we calculate it. Since the given solute is an electrolyte that is monofluoroacetic acid. Which on dissociation gives this is the thing that gives it gives two particles and since it gives Two particles so therefore the n bar is also 2 
so now since we have got the value of n bar we could substitute in the degree of dissociation formula again i would write it as alpha is equal to oh, i'm sorry alpha is equals to i minus 1 divided by n bar minus 1 so in this case the value of i that we have initially got was 1.074 minus 1 divided by the n bar that is 2 minus 1 so eventually we have got an answer 0 0.74 minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 is 1 so eventually we have got an answer 0 0.074 so this is the degree of dissociation value that we have got. So friends, it was a very long question uh, to determine the value of Wendhoff factor and the degree of dissociation. And we have successfully calculated the both of the values. So I hope you have got to know that how to calculate this kind of numericals when it would be asked in your exam point of view. So I hope you have liked this video. So thank you friends for watching this video and please don't forget to subscribe egira.com. Thank you so much.